Hey my lovelies and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and today's video is another review of Macart. Yay! <laughs> so um, I got this from AliExpress and it is the Macart Glow in the Jet, uh, Glow in the Gel, Glow in the Dark Poly Gel Kit. It's just called Macart Glow Poly Gel though I think. Um, so this kit comes with um, instructions, really in detail instructions, and it also, like, on the back, it shows you the other products and stuff like that. They do that on most of their instructions. Um, a 100 to 180 grit file, a bag of dual forms, a top and a base coat, your spear javelin brush picker tool. I love, again, I love the end. Um, I did notice there was a few scratches on some of the tools, and I was like, hmm. That's weird. And then I looked at the slip solution, which it, obviously slip solution comes in this, and it's a two-in-one surface cleaner as well. But yeah, that slip solution looked um, emptier than it should have been, which I found really strange. And I thought, have they sent me so, a, a kit that's already been used? But can you see all the marks on the bottles? So I thought, check to see if they're sealed. And they were all sealed. So these haven't been used, but... Um, yeah, I, I, it's probably just packing. I, I don't know, but they shouldn't have come scratched. But either way, apart from that, you know, what can you do? They haven't been used, they haven't been touched, so that's great. Um, I do wish that they would put, um, like a plastic wrap on the lid of their slip solution just so that, like, you'd know if that makes sense. If someone had used it, because there was a little bit missing, it wasn't full. But anyway, I swatched them for you. So there was a glow blue, a glow green, and a glow yellow. I actually used the yellow today, as you probably noticed in the thumbnail. And these polygels are nothing like the um, nude polygel kit that I reviewed the other day. Um, these actually, uh, they they weren't sticky at all. They were f a nice firm texture like a yeah, texture I guess is it texture they, they were nicely firm like a nicely firm product they were easy to mold and move they weren't sticky um I should mention as well that these polygel uh kits from a cart um the nude one was super like there was no grittiness to it at all and it was the same it's the same with this kit there's no grittiness um that their formula is really great you don't have to like finely milled like acrylic grit inside these poly gels i will give them that they're brilliant and they do cure fully in the lamp there is no like um uncured poly gel in places which is great because they're, they're these are quite opaque colors so you you know that if they don't cure, it's not that great. And uh, I didn't do them too thick, but I didn't do them thin. So, yeah. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I really like this kit and I'm really happy with it. Um, it does only come with three bottles of 30 gram poly gel, but, you know, excuse the, the pigment powder in my lamp. I forgot to clean it. Um, <laughs> but there's a sneak peek of the glow with the LED UV light on top of them. And here are the swatches all together in the light. So I'm actually going to prep my natural nail now. I'm actually going to keep these ones on. So I'm actually working on my right hand. So I'm working with my left hand today, sort of, kind of, because I'm using dual forms. I don't really have to do much with my left hand, which is, that's why I love dual forms, because it's easy to do my left hand, my right hand, with my left hand. It, this is just really confusing. So anyway, <laughs> I push back the cuticles with my push, uh, my my cuticle pusher and I scraped away the dirt and then I buffed the shine away from my natural nail bed. Um, then I size up my dual forms making sure they fit sidewall to sidewall with enough gap um, in between the nail bed and the dual form when it was applied to my nail so there was room for product. Um, and then I went in with my model ones dehydrator and primer. I I don't think my cart does a dehydrate and primer. It'd be great if they did because I could actually do like a review of all their products. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not sure. Um. So anyway, uh, like I said, I'm just sizing up the jewel forms. The only thing I hated about the jewel forms in this kit was they all come in just a bag. So you kind of got to like really dig through to find them and look for the numbers, which is a pain. But I, I don't mind. Um. By the way, if you see a little bit of like pink and orange in my nails, it's it's from that the chalk. I couldn't get it out of my nails properly so I just ignored it um <laughs> but my hands are washed and everything like that and yeah so anyhow I did use dual forms today obviously um I only used the yellow today because I really fancied a nice bright colorful um set 
So here we go now with the dehydrator and primer. I'm sorry the brightness is quite bright. I do notice in a minute and I sort that out. Sorry about that. I, I zoomed in because I'm trying to like get a closer view for you guys to see what I'm really doing. Um, but like I said, yeah, this, this crit is, this crit, I play too much World of Warcraft. Um, this kit <laughs> is, uh, really great guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to let you watch the application and stuff and I'll be back for filing. Uh, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> So this is where um, all of the nails are done and cured. I didn't record my thumb because I didn't think you need to see the process five times. Um, so I waited for my, the jewel forms and my nails to cool down a bit after they come out the lamp um, before popping off the jewel forms. So I cleaned my brush and stuff like that. I don't know why I've done that on camera, but anyhow. Um, <laughs> I uh, So what I do with the jewel forms is once the nails have cooled down, I pinch from side to side and then I just wiggle up down up down from side to side and they just come off 
Uh, you don't actually need to put that much pressure on them when you're popping them off. But like I said, let them cool down first because they do come off easier when they are cold. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like after they have um, come off. Uh, all the jewel forms have come off. <clears throat> And then I clean away the sticky tacky layer with the remaining um, cleanser that I had on my pad there. Um, because obviously polygel has a sticky tacky layer. And then I go in with my filing. And guys, I didn't leave much filing in because it was all off camera. Um, <laughs> my setup is quite small. So my, and my for some reason my dust collector is really, really big on the back. So I tried my best, but it, it was really hard to keep the filing in. So I just, yeah, <laughs> you see a little bit of it, see? That's all, this, this is basically it. And then I just, yeah, I didn't see the point in keeping any more in. Um, but I do try and I will figure out another way. Um, that middle finger looks very fat and round, but I do sort it out. Um, <laughs> so once I'd finished filing, I um, decided that I didn't want them to be too plain. Because they look really cool and dark, but like in the, in the light, they're just yellow. Like, yellow was great and fine and all, but I wanted a little bit of like, woo. So I buffed the shiny layer. You don't have to do this, but I buffed the, unless you're like painting them and stuff like that or putting stuff on them. Yeah, as I said, for the third time now, I bushed, I bushed. <sighs> I can't speak today. I buffed the, the shine away from the nails and then brushed away the dust and stuff like that and I went to go in with top coat and I thought no let's do some nail foils so these are the nail foils from McCart they come with um two bottles of I think I can't hang on uh they come with two boxes of foils there's some um, like uh, iridescent and holographic there's some Christmas foils and everything, but there is some butterflies and some flower foils. So yeah, two bottles of the um, foil glue. You, I cured in my nail lamp for 60 seconds, but I believe it's two minutes for a UV. I can't remember purely because I have a UV LED lamp. <laughs> so I, the, the, there's a lot of foil. I even managed to get it back in the box. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, that is so sad, but... If anyone does their own nails, you know how hard it is to get foils back in their boxes, but I'd done it and I was proud. Um, so yeah, I just painted the foil glue onto my thumbnail and my ring finger. Um, like I said, I cured for 60 seconds in the nail lamp and uh, then I stuck the foil on. <laughs> and that was pretty much it, guys. Really simple. And then I went in then with the top coat and um, obviously applied top coat and I cured for a further... 60 seconds again it's an it's a non-wipe top coat which is great so i didn't have to worry about sticky layers and uh then that was pretty much it guys uh so i'm actually going to leave it here uh watch the rest of the video watch the end because the glow in the dark is beautiful i'm not even kidding i don't know why i sang that i sounded awful i'm sorry um but i will say this quickly the mccart foil glue and foils are great like, if you're going to get any foil glue, get my cart foil glue, guys. I'm not kidding. It's amazing. It's the best foil glue I've used. So, apart from that, guys, though, I am going to love and leave you. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below if you've used this kit before and your thoughts on it and so on and so forth. Um, I hope you're all staying safe. Keep on smiling, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Bye.